In this lesson we're going to cover a concept that's not really essential for all of you, but if some of you are uh, want to get into game development, this is certainly something that you need to keep in mind, that you might be using when you make your games. Um, many games are what, what they're called tile-based games, which means that um, the, the game area, the game board, is basically divided in, um, in a grill. It has a grill and it has like cells in each cell has its own uh, say coordinates, so it has a number of row and it has a number of column. Um, and I wanted to I wanted you to know that arrays can also be multi-dimensional. So all arrays we've seen so far have one dimension, which is which means that they are something like this. Um, that there's just one dimension, one possible index. But you can also have multi-dimensional arrays and two-dimensional arrays in particular are usually used to represent these um, grills, at least in some in some game frameworks. So um, let me um, create a two-dimensional array. So that's going to be, say, our first row. And then the second one is going to be our, our second row. Um, I'm going to create a third row as well. So I've created here an array that's um, two-dimensional and, th and that's three by three. So we have three rows and three columns. Now accessing the, the, um, these elements, um, well, let's, let's look at it at the array before. Uh, see that we have an array and each element in the array is also an array. That, that's what uh, multi-dimensional means, uh, that we can represent more than one dimension with this. So the way, the manner that we can access these elements, it's it's very straightforward. It's very simple. So imagine I want to access this this number here, this number five. So um, the first thing you do is that you find um, the index of the corresponding array. So in this case, this is in index one, right? Because that would be index zero that would be index 1. That will give us this whole thing. You can actually uh, see it. And then if we want to access this number 5 in here, that's just position 0, 1, 2. So we put in another uh, bracket and then we refer to the position of that element within this array. So that's how you can access individual elements. Uh, to another example, um, how about I access this uh, 7 over here, so that would be 0, 1, 2, and then that would be position 0, the first position. And I can access the, the properties like that, or um, to, to read and also to write. So if I want to replace this 9 by uh, 10, um, I'll just do, this would be position 2 first and then position 0, 1, 2. So that would be, um, this would be the location of that number and I want that to be 10. And if we look at our list again, after doing that, uh, you'll see that this time um, in this array is now, uh, this value is now 10. Um, so that's, uh, that's an introduction to multidimensional arrays. Um, there are many cases where these are used. It's important just to know what they are and how you can access a particular element within them, whether it's to read it or to modify it.